noticed he was wearing a light blue gown while holding a few scattered newspapers in his hand. And I didn't feel like looking up at his face because that would have been weird. I don't know. I thought maybe he just wanted to stand there. But I knew deep down that it was just my mom making excuses so I didn't have to confront this guy. The fact that all the other seats were empty and he just happened to decide that he wanted to stand there and block the view in front of me was already a given to me that this wasn't just some coincidence. After like 30 awkward seconds of trying to ignore him, through my earphones, I heard heavy breathing. What the fuck? But then he sat down on the seat in front of me. Okay, cool. At least he's further than he was before. I kept my eyes glued to the phone. But then this happened. I heard loud moaning noises, groaning. Out of major concern, yes. I looked up. Mind you, this is the first now I don't give a damn about freaking swearing in my videos. But I could just tell something was very off with this guy. His creepy smile wasn't helping him either. But wait, if he's moaning, groaning, making all these struggle noises, then why is he smiling? Well, I found out why not too long after. Something underneath his gown was making a repetitive up and down motion. See where I'm getting at? He was trying to cover what he was doing with his newspapers, too. Oh, uh, well, give the guy some credit. At least he was trying to cover it up. Like, it could have been worse, but he doesn't even try to hide it with anything. But you're just lucky that he just bought <laughs> Let's just say now that we do not credit dumbass logic like that and try to just... Yeah, that was pretty... That was some pretty dumbass dumb. logic. Let's be real. It doesn't cut the grindiness any less than it is. This is public transportation, not your house. I hope you realize a bunch of people sit in that same spot every day. So here this guy was, eating his meat right in front of me. All that came to my mind was, Man. oh hell no, nah, you bugging. I gotta get off the next stop. You bugging. I don't care which one it is. I'm out. I decided that I might as well report the guy to the police first and take a picture of him just in case they needed one. To oh run. god, I can see where this is going. I fun playing with his schlong. I pointed my phone camera at him pretending to text a friend when suddenly his beef whistle slips out of the gown after the yep. newspaper scattering all over the floor. My phone almost drops by surprise. I can't, I can't, I could uh, anybody could have saw that coming, he right? Stood there. Man, you'd think after all of that, he'd have some shame and walk away. But then again, if he's willing to go that far to jack off freely on public transportation, probably not. After some very intimate tension, he finally decided to place his hand on my left shoulder. Right after he touched himself. Okay, now that was the final show. The alarm bell no. told me to take action. Like now. Hell no. Hey, man, what you doing? Don't be stupid and just sit there. Go kick his ass or something. And I had no problem. Yes! 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 Kick his freaking ass. Nor intimidating in size whatsoever. Boy! Let me also say that I was never the type to be dependent on judging anyone's overall personality, intellect, capability based on their overall stature. Bullshit. Yet, from my experience, a lot of people seem to do that without a second thought, including this jizzbag wanker. Oh, look. A small girl sitting alone on the train. An easy target. Bound to be weak and submissive, right? No, fuck off. My sanity yeah. is still intact. So I don't know what How about you screw off and stop being an absolute idiot? We are not about to play predator and victim.